Do you love Mega Man? Do you want a new Mega Man style game? If you answered yes, then check out my review of Mighty Aphid coming up next on Mumbles. Hi everyone, Mumbles here. On today's episode of Mumbles, I'm bringing you guys another game review. Today's game review is on a game called Mighty Aphid. It is a unique Mega Man inspired game. But is it good? We're going to tackle that question on today's episode of Mumbles. But before we do, I do have to ask, if this is your first time here, please do consider subscribing to the channel, ringing that little notification bell, and dropping a like on the video. Helps the channel grow, and just know how much I appreciate it. Thank you guys all so much for the support. Now, on to Mighty Aphid! Mighty Aphid. His famous father is aging. His mother is dying. And his big sister is on the moon. So it is up to Avery Aphid Cavor to stop the villainous ladybug from wrecking the town of Victoria with her horde of monsters. Mighty Aphid by Cascade Games Instant 2D Classic filled with Easter eggs, quotes, references from popular platforming games of the past. You'll have to run, shoot, swim, and fly. You'll need to explore huge levels and fight big bosses. You'll be able to earn upgrades to finally defeat Ladybug, relive those early days of 2D platform gaming with this modern action adventure game. This game is available for Nintendo Switch, Xbox, PlayStation, and Steam for a price of $4.99. So let's talk about this game. I gotta be honest, this game is a straight up rip off of Mega Man. I'm not pulling any punches today. This is, game is literally a straight up rip off of Mega Man that isn't as good as Mega Man. This game basically... So let's talk about the game. I gotta be completely honest with you. This game is a straight up rip off of Mega Man that isn't as good as Mega Man. This game, basically, you play as Aphid, and you have to use your blaster and various abilities you get along the way from defeating bosses to save the world and defeat the evil Miss Ladybug. Now, along the way, you will be given gems to collect, which only has one specific use, which is fuel for those items and those abilities that you get. You also, at times, may have to save people by defeating enemies and doing various things such as that. But at the end of the day, really, each level is just about getting through it and defeating the bosses of the game. That's all there is to this game. It's a very simple, simplistic game. And uh, we're going to move on to the con section because I'm going to keep this rolling. The first con is that this game's a ripoff of Mega Man. And it's not as good as Mega Man. So the second con is that this game can be tough. There are no invincibility frames or anything like that. So this game, you could have a tough time with it. The third con is that it's very short. You could probably beat this game in under three hours. The fourth con is that this game is very repetitive. You know, you could only see so many of these games that aren't Mega Man and want to play them because they do get very repetitive. You're simply jumping, running, skipping, playing through each level to get to each boss, shooting, 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 bam, 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 dun, dun, dun. It's that simple. So now we come to my all important score section. I got to be honest, this game, again, is a ripoff of Mega Man, and I'm going to grade it as a ripoff of Mega Man and only give it a 4 out of 10. Now, I don't mean to hate on this game, even though it is a ripoff of Mega Man, which is what I keep saying, but I gotta be honest, when you're gonna make a game that straight up rips off the ideas to the point that your little character looks like Mega Man, at least make it be better than the original game. They didn't do that. In fact, they actually made it worse than the original game. So, if you guys like this kind of game, if you've ever played Mega Man or ever seen a Mega Man game played, that's basically what you're getting, a watered-down version of that. If you like those kind of games, then by all means, get this $4.99 game. It's not very expensive, and it's pretty good. But if you're not a big fan of those games, I definitely recommend that you steer clear of this game. So that's been my review of Mighty Aphid. I hope you guys all enjoyed this. Please smack that subscribe button, smack the like button, smack all those buttons, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye, everyone. Take care.